a student in Maryland public school classrooms. Hello, everyone. I'm Vic Carter. And I'm Rick Ritter. Welcome to WJZ News at 6. And of course, those streaming on CBSN Baltimore. Lawmakers passed the mask requirement literally just hours ago, and it is already in effect now. Most school districts are already requiring masks, but there were some holdouts in Carroll and Somerset counties. Masks were optional. And we have live team coverage tonight. Paul Gessler in Carroll County with reaction to that news. But let's begin with WJZ investigator Mike Helgren in Baltimore breaking down this vote. Mike. Rick Vick, the vote was not unanimous, and lawmakers got an earful, very vocal parents on both sides of this issue. Governor Hogan had wanted local school boards to maintain control. I want to vote yes. I vote no. After four hours of heated debate, divided lawmakers passed a mask mandate with a 7 to 10 vote. It covers all students and staff in Maryland public schools and is a move the state school board already approved. At the beginning of this once a generation pandemic, we said we were all in this together. Today's vote reaffirms that we still are. None of you should be leaders of anything, let alone an entire state. The fact that you want to place five year olds in masks for seven to eight hours at a time is sickening. Carroll County had been the only school system in central Maryland without a mask mandate. That changes effective immediately. Where is the emergency? This is a real cost to forcing students to wear masks for seven hours a day, day after day, and it isn't being acknowledged. COVID doesn't care if you're a Carroll County girl. COVID doesn't discriminate. In Baltimore County, where masks were already mandated, the head of the teachers' union says the requirement is working. Students are wearing them when they're supposed to. If they need a break, they pull it down, you know, for the minute or whatever and put it back up. Uh, but it see, the masks, masking seems to be going very well. You are elected to represent, not lead. Represent the masses. Senate President Bill Ferguson laments how divided people are, but tells WJZ requiring masks is about safety. I wish it had happened earlier. I think that what happened today was common sense. Uh, we want to keep kids in school. Uh, we need to do whatever it takes to keep them in school, in person. Now, the state school superintendent told lawmakers today that he has no plans at this time to mandate vaccines for students who are eligible for them. Our live team coverage continues in Carroll County with Paul Gessler. You're getting reaction there. Some 